What celebrity have you lost all respect for? Why? My brother is a D-tear actor in Australia. Has worked with Rebel Wilson a fair bit. Said she's the most unpleasant person he's ever encountered. Makes everyone treat her like an absolute diva and runs through assistants like Epstein through massages. I didn't have an opinion about her before he told me but it's not an uncommon sentiment in the acting world. She had a body double for a film they were both in. She lost her bunch of weight before filming and became really opinionated about having somebody who accurately represented her idea of her body. She finally settled on somebody. This is usually the role of the casting crew based on your height and weight but she insisted she had final say. The body double showed up on set and Rebel decided the woman had put on weight between casting and filming. She grabbed the poor woman's hips and stomach on the set and yelled at the casting crew for bringing a hippopotamus on set to represent her. After watching Leah Romini, Scientology in the aftermath, any celebrity involved with the Scientology church is pretty off-putting. But also talk about a celebrity that I didn't have much respect for then gained some with Leah Romini. It cannot be easy doing what she and Mike Rinder are doing. Dr. Phil. Now I realize he just uses sick-minded people for his own profit. He brought the creator of Bum Fights on the show and kicked him off after showing up dressed as Dr. Phil. The guy said Dr. Phil and him did the exact same thing. Phil just hid it better. After seeing that clip, I have no respect for Dr. Phil. Well thanks a lot Reddit for all the vague comments not explaining why these celebrities fell from grace. My google search history now reads as a who's who of celebrity pedophiles and rapists. Never have I related more with a comment. I've been opening tabs like it's spring break. Mark Salling being a massive freaking pedophile will never not upset me. I know pretty much the whole cast of Glee are problematic but he's by far the biggest and grossest let down. It taints any rewatches. Holy crap. I didn't realize Salling committed suicide. As an aside to how crappy several of the cast members were, it's so crazy that three members of such a young cast have died. R. Kelly. Growing up, I loved his music. I would walk down the halls of school singing I'm a flirt. Now, I am ashamed that I was so into his music as a teen. Don't be ashamed. You did nothing wrong but enjoy music. Be disappointed or angry the fault is not within you. Ellen DeGeneres. She made Taylor Swift cry and practically bullied her on Live TV. Outed Mariah Carey's pregnancy. Need I go on? She treats her guests like trash. I'm surprised none of you guys mentioned she was a real freaking bee to a Mandarin interpreter to a young guitarist that is Chinese. I think he played some instrument. Anyway, she was interpreting just fine cause I speak Mandarin. Then freaking Ellen was scolding the interpreter and she was legit interpreting what the young kid was saying. Like what the frick was she supposed to do? James Corden. I used to be a real big fan of him and his old Gavin and Stacy stuff and I even liked the lesbian vampire movie too even though a lot of people hated it. And then the stories of how he treats people even his own family started to roll out and I'm like frick this guy. Steve Tyler. For convincing parents to sign a 14 year old over to him. After a few years of drugs, fricking and an abortion. Dumping her back on their doorstep at 17. Massive C. I scrolled pretty far and didn't see him. Danny Mesterton. I seriously loved Hyde in that 70s show. Growing up I wanted to be like that also. He's a rapist piece of crap. Lost any and all respect I had for the guy. This is such a good one. That 70s show is so dang good and he was awesome in it. Such a shame he's actually a crap stain in a puddle of pee. Frick that guy. James Charles. I think people who know him already know why. The contouring. Joss Whedon. He was a hugely influential voice in my formative years. A man I looked up to when I had none in my real life. I even met him and he was everything I dreamed he would be. To say I was devastated is an understatement. Doubly ironic because he was always held up as a feminist and writer of strong women. I got pretty into the TV show Glee in 2020 and I didn't know most of the cast beforehand. So it's not like I was a fan of anyone, but after I heard about Leah Michelle's ugly behavior I was truly appalled. I don't know how anyone can support her. In a nutshell, she disrespected a ton of people she have worked with ever since she was a little girl. She threatened to fire people, belittled the staff, called them cockroaches. 
told a co-worker she would crap in her wig and other nasty things. Shame, since she's a talented singer. Kinda funny when I was younger and actually liked the first season, the rest being horrendous. I was picturing how mature these girls must be off screen in real life to be able to pull off such a performance. Then years later I heard about Michelle's behavior and the fact she would purposely exclude people at her table during lunch and thought, oh never mind, she's not acting. Matt Lower. I used to watch freaking NBC every single morning before school for a decade, and then he does something so grossly specific as to have a button under his desk to lock people in is just, for real. Katie Corrick says he used to pinch her on the butt a lot. Gwyneth Paltrow. I used to like her BC Iron Man. Now I know she's either a scam artist with no morals or absolutely bonkers with no morals. Ellen DeGeneres. Man, I remember how awesome I thought Ellen's energy adventure was and she's also the voice of Dory and she just seemed so nice. But turns out, she's a massive butthole. I remember watching the special where a woman who had recently come out was in tears thanking Ellen for making it a little easier for her to be herself. Fast forward to now, so disappointing how she's acting. Rachel Ray. I used to love her back in the late 2000s and watch her 30 minute meals program all the time on Food Network. I even bought some of her cookbooks. Then I found out she's a monster to fans in real life and she started shilling for corporate America and doing her lousy talk show. It broke my heart. Now I've lost all respect for her and don't bother watching anything she does anymore. <laughs> Melissa Gilbert. My mother loved her in the 70s so one year I got her Gilbert's cookbook and surprised mom by taking her to a book signing near where we live in the Midwest. She was over the moon excited to meet her. We finally get up to the table and Ms. Gilbert was rude to my mother, and hurried her through. Mom was crushed. I now will not watch anything with her in it. My mind goes back to the rude entitled woman she was. What's weird is you are at a book signing. It's not like you and your mom approached her in the middle of a restaurant while she was having dinner with her family. That type of behavior is wild to me. If you're in the spotlight and you have a book signing where you know you're going to meet fans, don't be a dong. Wendy Williams she is just an ugly person on the inside in general. She has threatened and belittled staff farted on national TV and blamed a chair. She likes eating Slim Jim's jailhouse style heating up with a big lighter so cringy she outed Method Man's wife for having cancer just to get ratings. Once she started catching heat now she's claiming she may have dementia or mental disorders and that's what caused her to do all the stuff she did. Total cop out those are just a few things. Sheer Larby enough. I was one of the holdouts who argued he was misunderstood as an artist and a person. Soon as the FKA Twigs story came out I couldn't bring myself to continue being a fan. Dude needs help and if we're being real, probably needs to do time. Esp after Honey Boy, where he could have just ripped his father to shreds, but empathized with him in the writing and then went on to act in the role of his father, and that depiction of a parent-child relationship where things can get really ugly, but sometimes it's everything you wanted, and then you had to ruin it. Bill Cosby. For obvious reasons. The man was a pillar of my childhood. He helped teach me to read on the electric company, taught life lessons on Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids, entertained as Dr. Huxtable on the Cosby Show and all those comedy albums through the years. Freaking serial rapist. Finding out on the news he was actually a total piece of crap that whole time broke my heart. Chrissy Teigen was an advocate for being kind to people online and then had been cyberbullying Courtney Stodden amongst others. Thank you. I see her used so often as an example of cancel culture gone too far. She told a then teenager to kill themselves a ton of times for ages while she was a grown adult. That's fricked. Ever notice how Ellen's real enthusiasm and excitement only comes out when she's jump scaring people? She has dead eyes for the entire interview until some sucker dressed as a spider jumps out on her guest. Then she lights up like a Christmas tree at the sight of their fair. She'll be off because he hid the fact that he had herpes. He intentionally infected FKA Twigs and one other woman before he was with FKA Twigs. He went so far as to use makeup on to cover up his symptoms so neither woman would notice his nasty butt sores. You can call him a celebrity but Joel Osteen, especially after the whole thing happened in Houston, 
I remember getting ready for church Sunday morning and my nana used to cut a show on the TV while we got ready, but seeing the guy he turned out to be I've lost respect for him. Travis Scott and Ellen, you know the one. Just watch those complications of her making basically anyone who goes on her show uncomfortable or insulting them. Dakota Johnson calling her out was satisfying to watch. Chevy Jace. I wasn't a diehard fan but I used to respect him a whole lot more for the work he put in and made. He's not as terrible as a lot of people listed here since to my knowledge he hasn't diddled anyone. But it came out that he's more like Ellen DeGeneres where he's pretty toxic and there's a lot of anecdotal stories of him just being a dong. Still appreciate what he did but he definitely got knocked down a few pegs in my books. That said Dan Harmon didn't exactly help the situation when it came to community so I'll give Chevy credit where credit is due. Since without his name attached to the show I'm not sure if they'd be able to attract some of the big name cameos they had like Betty White. May she rest in peace. On another note Alison Mack, the actress who played Chloe on Smallville. I used to regret not meeting her in person when she was a guest at one of the conventions I went to every year. Then the charges were brought up and she pleaded guilty to sex trafficking for a cult. The only thing I can think would be worse is if the age of the people she brought in were her minors. I stopped reading after she was charged and eventually after she pleaded guilty. Anything more would make me hate her more. And or she was part of any of the other big cults. A more interesting question is what celebrities should we have respect for and why? The overwhelmingly majority have done nothing meritorious and are just rich, famous, play their part to stay so but are completely disconnected from actual real life. Mark Hamill once spent hours hanging out with a fan of his that was terminally ill, in and out of character as Luke Skywalker, just because someone told him about said fan. Wasn't even asked, just did it. Hamill is a class act. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.